Michael Barbie, and I've been asked to make you a video to show you what I eat during the day and um, help cut down on that belly fat and overall weight loss. Um, what I do is I replace one of my meals, either either one, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, with soup or juice or a smoothie. So today I'm going to make you one of my slimming soups. It's a green soup, monster soup I like to call it because it has all green vegetables in it somewhat, but it still comes out green. Um, anywho, I've already made the video, but in the video you can't hear me talking over everything cooking, so I'm just going to tell you real quick what I put in it. Um, when I'm cooking the vegetables or sauteing the vegetables, I add my spices that are for whatever ails me. I have turmeric for joint pain because I run daily, so my knees kind of bother me from that. Um, turmeric helps with almost any kind of joint pain, arthritic pain, any joint pain. A tablespoon of that or two a day and you'll start feeling relief from that in about a week or two. Um, it's, I put using vegetables, use it on meat, just use it two twice a day. Um, I add garlic for my blood pressure and to keep your cholesterol in control. Um, cayenne pepper to kick start your metabolism. And I think those are only three spices. Oh, and Mrs. Dash, so I don't use salt. I don't cook with salt. But everything has salt with it, so make sure you check your labels. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and flip this phone so I can show you what I'm cooking and how I'm cooking it, but I don't think that's possible. So, be right back. We're going to make this stew. We're going to start off with about three tablespoons of olive oil. That ought to be about three. Is that for me? And what we have here is one medium zucchini, one medium leek. Ran out of red um, green pepper, so I got an orange pepper, some asparagus, onions, kale, and vegetable stock, unsalted, which you know everything still has salt. So this has actually 210 milligrams. We're going to use a tablespoon, so this should be okay. All right, so what we're going to do, pick this up. Pick the whole plate up. We're going to put everything in our pot once the oil is heated. Right. My daughter Jenny is helping me. Put the this in. I'm gonna add our asparagus and our onions. And we're gonna let it cook. I'll get my garlic from it. We need garlic as well. We're gonna let this. Let it cook for about seven to eight minutes until everything is nice and roast or cooked. And we'll do it like that. And with all the things that you're adding, add some garlic. If you have fresh garlic, you can add like three bulbs of that. I myself add the minced garlic because I don't want to cut it up. And I like a lot of garlic. I'm going to add as much as I possibly can. I'm actually running out. Go ahead and stir that up there. And mix all of that. While your vegetables are cooking, this is when you add your spices. Now what I add is turmeric. That I add about a tablespoon of, probably a little, about a tablespoon of. That is good for any kind of joint pain. I run daily, so I have knee pain sometimes, and that taking that at least a tablespoon of that a day, you won't feel a thing after about a week or so. Add your cayenne pepper, give it a little heat. I'll say about a half tablespoon of that. And that kickstarts your digestion as well. And you can add pepper, no salt, unless you want to use sea salt. And I add my some Mrs. Dash for seasoning. Mrs. Dash has no seasoning, no salt rather. And get all that in there. And a little bit more garlic. And let everything cook. Until it's slightly brown for about 
once in about seven, eight minutes. We had our seven, eight minutes there. That looks really good. You can actually just eat that, like over some quinoa or quinoa, however you want to pronounce it, on dinner. And what we're going to do now, that, since that's cooking, we're going to add our two cups of water. This is boiling, or starting to boil. We add our, maybe our tablespoon of the broth. And we let that simmer for about maybe 10 minutes until or until everything is soft. And, right. and now you know, we're going to blend it, turn it to the pot, and let it cook the pot, let it cook for a while. Then we're going to add our last ingredient, which is the kale, about a handful of that and stir that in and let it simmer. You can either use spinach, which I'm out of, so that's why I'm using the kale, and let that simmer for a few minutes until the kale is soft. And then there you have your soup. Now this is pretty thick soup. You can add some more water in it if you need a little soupier, but the thicker it is, the fuller you're going to fill. And so we let that simmer for about five more minutes. With my soup, ready? Um, you can serve that. I don't use rice, so I put it over some quinoa. Um, so everything in here is going to be about maybe a little over 500 calories or 500 calories or less, maybe 600 at least. So I use some quinoa, traditional quinoa. Or I think they call it quinoa, but I say quinoa. That's just how I talk. So anyway, uh, about a fourth a cup of that, and that's about 120, 140 calories. You can still eat bread. You don't have to eliminate bread. Just eat whole grain bread, and that's about 120 calories. Calories. You want the one with unbleached flour. Make sure you have that unbleached flour in there. And with the grains in it, it says grains and nuts, so it's harder to digest, so it doesn't turn into sugar quickly and give you that hunger spike again. And so, we've got our soup here. We're going to put it over this quinoa, quinoa, whatever you want to call it. And have your side of bread there. Once again, that's about, maybe I'll say at least 500 calories. And have you feeling fuller for a longer period of time. Replace that with at least one of your meals for about a week or two, and you're going to see um, some weight loss. And plus some other ailments starting to disappear for you. So once again, this is Purple Barbie bringing you what a Barbie eats, or eat like a Barbie. And I'll talk to you soon.